Hey everyone, with our time in Alaska winding down, we wanted to make the most of our remaining days. So I reached out to Nikon ambassador, Christy Odom. She's taken some amazing landscape and wildlife pictures in the area. So I wanted to see if she had anything to suggest. One of her top suggestions was Valdez. So off we went. The drive to Valdez was one of the more scenic stretches of the highway we covered in Alaska. There was a hint of fall in the air and you can see the leaves starting to change color. As we got closer to Valdez, it seemed like there were glaciers everywhere. And then, as we got even closer, there were some amazing waterfalls on the side of the highway. When we got to Valdez, we decided to stay in a campground. So we got the camper all set up and ready to go, and then we went for a walk. The first most awesome thing about Valdez is that there were bunnies everywhere. Apparently somebody let a couple of bunnies go some years ago, and now they're just like everywhere, and the town doesn't know what to do with them. But I thought they were pretty adorable. We took in the sights by walking around the harbor, which was so fun. This was a unique experience for me because I haven't spent much time in Harbor Town, so I had a lot of fun photographing the boats and the fishermen. There were a bunch of people fishing and we even saw a few people catch some fish and then they cleaned them right there on the harbor. When I heard this crazy grunting noise in the water, we turned around and there was a little sea lion not 20 feet away from us. It was pretty cool to see it. But probably my favorite part of the entire walk was after the sun went down and all the lights around the boats came on and I got to get some long exposures of the boats with the mountains in the background. Something a little bit different. The next day we decided to go out looking for wildlife. Specifically, bears. We'd heard that the fish hatchery across the water was a good place to spot bears, so we went out bear hunting. I know that a fish hatchery is a place where there's a lot of fish, obviously. I couldn't believe the amount of fish that were thrashing about in the water, just everywhere. And of course, where there's fish, there's sea lions. But no bears. No bears. We spent some time photographing the sea lions, enjoying their all-you-can-eat buffet, and I even saw a little sea otter out in the distance. As the sun was setting, we could tell it was going to be a really pretty sunset. So we drove just up the road until I spotted a place I thought would make a great composition for the sunset. As we like to do, we saved the best for last, and in Valdez, that was definitely the Glacier Cruise. Alright, we're off to Stan Stevens Cruises so we can go on a wildlife glacier cruise thing. See some stuff. See some stuff. So we boarded the boat for a seven hour cruise to Columbia Glacier and back. Naturally, we went straight to the front of the boat. We're on a boat. Go see some fish and stuff. When we first got on the boat, I was really impressed. It was a bit bigger than I expected and it had both an indoor and an outdoor seating area. And they even served us a hot lunch in the middle of the trip. I like lunch. In addition to lunch, you're also allowed to bring your own snacks. Mmm, snacks! I was so excited when the boat started going. It was a lot smoother than I expected, and we were standing right up front. The view was just amazing. Once the boat got up to speed, most people went inside because it was freezing. But being photographers, we stood on the front deck the entire time with our cameras ready to go. Because we were on a boat, I knew a tripod wasn't gonna do me any good. The boat's moving, right? Luckily, one of Winston's legs is removable, so I took a one-legged thing on the boat with me to help support my 200 to 500 Nikon lens so I could really capture that wildlife. And we saw a lot of wildlife. 
The first thing we saw was sea otters. I've never seen wild sea otters, so it was so fun to watch them playing in the water. We saw so many sea lions basking in the sun on the shore. We saw seagulls. We saw puffins. We saw mountain goats. Finally on the way back, we saw some porpoises? I believe it's pork pie. The porpoise were playing in the waves at the nose of the ship, which apparently they really like to do. But by far the most magical part of this whole journey was being able to see this brilliant blue piece of ice making geological history. Dream as big as the open sky Take that chance and don't think twice Spend some time with the ones you love Find a little faith when times get tough Listen more than you talk Don't be afraid to risk it all Our glacier cruise was amazing, not only for the new experiences I got to share with Mandy in such a beautiful place, but also because it brought back memories of riding a ferry through the fjords of Patagonia on the complete other side of the world. Spend time each day reflect. Valdez was our last major stop in Alaska, and we lucked out with some really great weather in a notoriously rainy area. And I'm so grateful for this because it gave us the opportunity to explore some of the areas unique to Valdez. So here's to all the bunny rabbits out there. Just hopping around. Love and light. <laughs>